What is an atheist? An atheist is just somebody who feels about Yahweh the way any decent Christian feels about Thor or Baal or the golden calf. As has been said before, we are all atheists about most of the gods that humanity has ever believed in. Some of us just go one god further. <laughs> However, if you meet someone in the street who you yesterday saw executed, you can say either that an extraordinary miracle has occurred or that you are under a very grave misapprehension. And David Hume's logic on this, I think, is quite irrefutable. He says, what is more likely that the laws of nature have been suspended in your favor and in a way that you approve or that you've made a mistake? And in each case you must, and especially if you didn't see it yourself and you're hearing it from someone who says that they did. But I would go further and say the following. I'll grant you that it would be possible to track the pregnancy of the woman Mary, who's mentioned about three times in the Bible, uh, and to show that there was no male intervention in her life at all. But yet she delivered herself of a healthy baby boy. I can say, I, I don't say that's impossible. Parthenogenesis is not completely unthinkable, but it does not prove that his paternity is divine. And it wouldn't prove that any of his moral teachings were thereby correct. Nor, if I was to see him executed one day and see him walking the streets the next, would that show that his father was God, or his mother was a virgin, or that his teachings were true? Especially given the commonplace nature of resurrection at that time and place, after all, Lazarus was raised, never said a word about it. The daughter of Jairus was raised, didn't say a thing about what she'd been through. Um, and the Gospels tell us that at the time of the crucifixion, all the graves in Jerusalem opened and their occupants wandered around the streets to greet. Uh, so that it seems the resurrection was a, a, a something of a banality at the time. Not all, <laughs> not all of those people clearly were divinely uh, conceived. The one thing that I think is really dangerous in many religions is that it gives people a gold-plated excuse to stop thinking. To stop thinking? To stop thinking. To say, I don't have to think about that because my religion says this is right, this is wrong, it's as clear as that, it's black and white, I don't have to think about this anymore. It's just a matter of faith. Ooh. And this, and we honor that. We say, oh, it's a matter of faith. I think we have to stop honoring people for stopping thinking. I think we have to say to people, fine, you have your faith, great. Your job then, your duty to your own faith, is to explain to those of us who do not share your faith why you're so right as about you, it. As you say, we have 1.5, 1.6 billion mm -hmm. Muslims. Now, Second biggest religion in the world, a quarter. Well, Ben, let me, let me unpack this. They, let me unpack sorry. this for you. Please do. Um, I've been have a, been a, sitting a, there packed Just up. imagine some concentric circles here. You have at the center, you have jihadists. These are people who wake up in the morning wanting to kill apostates, wanting to, to die trying. They believe in paradise. They, Horrible they, they bad people. In, that, in, yeah. in martyrdom. Outside of them, we have Islamists. These are, these are people who are just as convinced of martyrdom and paradise and, and wanting to, to foist their religion on the rest of humanity, but they want to work within the system. They're not going to blow themselves up on a bus. They want to change governments. They want to use democracy against itself. That, it, that, those two circles arguably are 20% of the Muslim world. Okay, this is, this is not what the fringe of the fringe. What are you basing that research on? A, a bunch of poll results that we can talk about. So uh, to, to give you one point of contact, 78% of British Muslims think that the Danish cartoonists should have been prosecuted, 78%. So I'm being conservative when I roll this back to 20%. But outside of that circle, you have conservative Muslims who are, can, can, write, can honestly look at ISIS and say that, that does not represent us, we're, that we're horrified by that. But they hold views about human rights and about women, about homosexuals, that are deeply troubling. So, so the, the kind of cruelty in Catholic education, the kind of child, let's not call it child abuse, it was child rape. The kind of child rape that went on systematically for so long. Let's imagine that we can overlook this and say it is nothing whatever to do with the structure and nature of the Catholic Church and the twisted, neurotic and hysterical way 
that its leaders are chosen. The celibacy, the nuns, the monks, the priesthood. This is not natural and normal, ladies and gentlemen, in 2009. It really isn't. I'm sorry. For me to be called a pervert by these extraordinarily sexually dysfunctional people, I don't think human history has ever had more.